Hello everyone, my name is Emily and I am one of the student content creators here at the University of Lincoln Student Life YouTube channel. And today I wanted to go through some little tips and tricks of mine for if you haven't got exams whilst you are studying here at the University of Lincoln. So some courses don't do sit down exams, they do assignments, they do live assessments, they do um, other ways of assessing you throughout your course but it's very different to sit down exams like you may have experienced with GCSEs or A levels. So I study film production and we don't have any written exams in our course, they're all practical or essay based assignments. So I don't have to do any exams where I go to a exam room and I sit down and I do a written paper in a certain amount of time and then submit that. I have assignments that I get a little bit longer to kind of go over, but they're dotted out throughout the year, so they're not confined to one or two exam weeks. There are some downfalls of not having exam weeks and that can be a lack of motivation because you can kind of sit back and think oh it's fine I don't have exams but you do have to keep yourself in check because you are still being assessed and it is at the end of the day for your degree so here are a few tips and tricks that I have compiled that I find really useful for keeping me motivated when I don't have exams number one so my first tip is to make a to-do list. Whether it's every day or every week, making a to-do list of things that you have to do. I usually make one for personal things and one for academic things. So whether that's assignments, whether that's readings, whether it's going over some past lectures, whatever that might be. Making a to-do list will A, help you visually see what you have to do and it's a way to prioritise what you want to get done first but also it's really satisfying at the end to tick off everything on your to-do list and then move on to the next thing. It's a way of feeling accomplished and making sure you're not missing anything out. Number two, just because you don't have exams doesn't mean that you can put your feet up and relax. As I said before, you probably still have assignments which are just as important doing something that's not necessarily to do with your academics, but is definitely linked. So if you don't have exams, creating some sort of study group within your course. So for me, I have a few friends that we meet up and do study sessions with when we have an assignment, particularly if we've got an essay with a lot of reading, we will go to the library together, we'll chat about what we're reading and then bounce ideas off each other. So a bit like if you were revising for an exam, it's a really great way to keep you motivated and it's also a great social thing to do with friends. You can go to a cafe, you can go to someone's house. There are loads of great options to do, but it's just a way of keeping you a bit more motivated because you've got other people around you who are also studying the same thing. Number three, you can never do too much. But with this one, it's pretty self-explanatory. You can never do too much work. I know it can feel like a lot of work at the time, but you'll probably thank yourself down the road. You can get ahead on a lot of your modules before semester B starts, and yeah, you can never really do too much. And my fourth and final tip, if you don't have exams and you have a nice bit of time off when other people are doing exams, I really like taking that time to look after my mental health and also making sure my space is nice and tidy for when my workload does kick back in when semester B starts, so whether that's having a nice deep clean of your room or your house depending on where you're living, making sure that you are in a great mental space, doing lots of nice calming things, spending time with friends and family because you might not be able to do that when your workload does pick up again in semester B. So they were my really quick tips for if you don't have any exams whilst you are studying here at the University of Lincoln. If you're like me, I don't have any exams, but I do have assignments and things, so they are definitely as important as exams. So if you don't have exams, don't think that it's some time that you can just do nothing. 
it's definitely a good idea to stay a little bit motivated, but also taking some time off and relaxing before semester B starts. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you found this useful.